Live complete coverage continues now with Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher live in Center City. And now she breaks down what we're learning about the victims of last night's shooting. Brianna. Shari, people were running for their lives last night after shots rang out on South Street. Some made it, while three did not. We spoke with one of the survivors who was taken here to Jefferson Hospital. He is pleading for the violence to stop. I just want to make good now, you know what I'm saying, because that woke me up. Yeah, that, that bullet, when the bullet hits you, it's a different type of feeling. John Johnson was enjoying his Saturday night with friends when shooters opened fire on the 400 block of South Street that was packed with people. I had a giant hole in my New Balance sneakers and there's smoke coming out of my foot. That's how I knew it was real. I see two people, you know, die right in front of my face. So yeah, I'm still trying to, you know, come to terms with that. Well, Johnson is one of the lucky ones. He has to live with this grim memory. He's still trying to register the tragedy that unfolded right before his eyes. Others are remembering those who did not make it. The AFT of Pennsylvania released a statement today, mourning one of their own, saying in part, our hearts are heavy today with the passing of Chris Miners, a second grade boys resident advisor at Gerard College and member of our union, yet another victim of senseless gun violence. Friend and loved ones have also identified another one of the deceased as Greg Japan Jackson. He was an avid skater at Millennium Skate World and a well known in the boxing community. A driver who was making several food deliveries at the time of the South Street shooting wears a bulletproof vest to protect himself while he makes a living because of the gun violence in the city. I have multiple, um, you know, vests. And it's just, you know, for safety. I live in a city that's very dangerous. People are sick of losing loved ones to gun violence. Johnson says nothing can bring him down after what happened last night, but he hopes to see change. Stop the crime, stop the violence. You know what I'm saying uh, uh, treat people with the utmost respect. Moments ago, police identified all of the three deceased. We're learning the third victim is 27 year old Alexis Quinn. The victims injured age, rage from ages 17 to 69 years old. We're live in Center City. Brianna Gallagher, Channel 6 Action News.